been campaigning to try and get some traction and, and Nazanin relief for long, release for a long time. You were here just before Christmas as well. Um, were you aware that she was going to go to the lengths of going on hunger strike? Uh, well, so she'd been, been talking about it for a while, um, ever since those three days when she was out and then when mm. she was brought back in and, and, you know, clearly felt very upset. And, and we'd managed to keep talking her down and say, listen, the Foreign Secretary's pushing very hard, Christmas is coming, he's called for the release for Christmas, let's keep hoping that there'll be... And, and that worked for a while, but, but in the end, I mean, it, it, she's said to me, like, with respect to all your campaigning and your pushing it, it mm. hasn't worked and, and, you know, enough's enough and, I, and you need to understand I'm desperate. Mm. Um, mm. And, and, of course, at some level I do understand, I kept postponing it, didn't want to do it. I didn't get consulted, so I, I got told the letter's gone out and then the letter's out and there's nothing I could do about it. She talks clearly about the uh, being not being allowed medical care and attention. What is it that she is being refused access to? Yeah, so ever since she got brought back in, um, there's been a sort of close down of all outside medical care. So, for instance, in, in December, she went to the prison doctor and um, said, listen, she'd found lumps on her breasts and, and was having pains there and said, listen, you know, what are these? And the prison doctor said, OK, you need to get those checked. By a specialist, um, and that was blocked um, by the, the authorities. So even the prison doctor is the prison doctor is always re so. Yeah, you, you, she's been referred by the prison doctor for lumps in her breast. Been referred to the prison doctor to see a neurologist over the sort of numbness in her arms and legs, um, and then it's not allowed. And, and the prison are kind of making a calculation. Well, we don't think you're going to die next week, so we're not going to allow it. It must be beyond unbearable to think that your wife has been pushed to the point where she's going to stop eating and you can do nothing about it. You, you're always so measured because you're trying to keep diplomacy and conversations going, but I know that you, you feel it. Um, give us a sense of what it's like for her and also your daughter. Um, she had that time where she was released, wasn't she, and it was terrible when she had to go back and since she's had her birthday and give us a sense of what it's like. For, for, for Nazanin, so for mm. Nazanin, obviously, yes, you know, the fact that she was sort of brought back in, um, the despairing sense that, that nothing nothing will get her out. And, and for Gabrielle, I mean, Gabrielle is small mm. and, and, you know, she's four now. So at four, you still kind of live in the moment and you accept things as they are and she won't really remember, she doesn't remember, my poor. So she asked um, her mum um, a month or so ago, I mean, you know, you know, daddy, so, yes, I know, I know um, Daddy. But, but have you ever met Daddy? Um, because, of course, she only ever knows me from, from the phone. Mm. Um, and then on uh, um, Nazim's birthday, when they, um, which was on Boxing Day, which was her 40th birthday, um, they had a cake, Gabriella cut the cake, um, and she made the wish, and the wish was that Mummy and Daddy get released from prison. Because for her, we are both in prison. You're both gone. Both gone. Don't and in a way, there's something... There's something a little bit comforting in that, that she's got love around her and to protect her, but also desperate that her normal is not with her mummy and daddy as you would want it. Yeah, and, and she's very aware if her grandmother isn't around, that, that you know, another adult's being you know, taken away from her, and, and so she's very keen mm. to sense abandonment. Mm. Uh, Richard, you've always been so calm and considered when we've talked about this, and we've, you've had three foreign secretaries uh, while mm. she's been arrested and, and imprisoned. Um, of different approaches, a uh, bit more loud rhetoric from Boris, not necessarily the, 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 the most careful approach, and then we've got Jeremy Hunt now. Nazanin's turned round to you and said, look, your careful approach isn't working, we're going on hunger strike now, we need to make this more dramatic. At what point do you think there will be any value in actually shouting a bit louder and starting to rustle a few more boats, or are you, are you still quietly confident that Jeremy Hunt, the Foreign Secretary, can make something happen? I'm not confident, if I'm honest, at this point, mm. in the, all that's gone on. It, I mean, so it feels to me that Jeremy Hunt is, is, is trying pretty hard. Um, there are more things he could do, and I was on this show last week mm. saying, OK, this is what we want next. Um, so what is the next step, just remind Well, partly, I think, to understand quite um, what actually mm. they make of, of the hunger strike and, and what's going to go on next and what they've done with the Iranians. There were some more calm things we were talking about, like you know, saying around going to the UN, about mm. diplomatic protection. Those are still important, but, but you're also right that Nazanin has said, listen, enough's enough, this is, this is nonsense. With respect to you, this has to end soon. Um, and, and there's a need to work out well, what, what can we do in that context. What can you do? Because, I mean, I, we were here, weren't we, before Christmas? Last year, Christmas 2017, there was so much hope. Yeah at that point, and then you thought, oh, maybe New Year, and then another year's passed, another Christmas. I mean, wh what are your options? Well, well uh, I mean, you know, if you look at our story, well, what, what is going on? This is just crazy. Mm. The part of it is to almost sit down with the government and say, well, what, what is going on here? Why, why does this make sense? Like, why is an innocent woman being held and other people are being held and for no good reason? And, mm. you know, it's clearly so awful. What, what 
what can unlock it? Um, and, and there's, you know, there's private conversations about, listen, mm -hmm. I think you need to do X, Y and Z, and the government will, will decide whether to do them or not. Is there a bit of you that wants to paint a massive banner on March to Westminster and stand on the street and shout until you get answers? You know, I think mm -hmm. there are some people that would do that. Well, like, look, I think if she, if she does go on hunger strike, mm. we're into real I mean, nuclear territory. There's, there's, there's yeah. nothing else after that. Because they have talked about they could extend this period as well. They're saying three days at the moment, but... Well, that's right, and three days is, is OK, but four, five, six, yeah. seven, you know, it, it doesn't take long before it Especially really Especially when starts. she's ill already. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so I, and, I mean, I don't want to cheerlead no. all that, so I don't want to sort of invoke what we would do if she goes down, but, but yeah, goodness me, we, we're having to think about it. How do you keep going, Richard? Um, yeah, there's been a tough, tough couple of days, this one, ever since Tuesday when she announced that, that well, uh, privately, yeah, this has been tough. And, and I, don't, I can't imagine what you're going through. I don't know, you've always been so together and eloquent and calm when you've come in, but I don't know Not how you manage... No, no, I'm sure, but with us, but how... Do, what is it? Is it? Is it your daughter? Is it hope that's keeping you going? It, look, I think it... I mean, I think part of you keep, keep going because you have to, right? there's, yeah. a, there's a battle. Um, I, I think... You know, it, 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 it's really bleak. It, it was so crazy when it started. It, it feels that it'll be crazily suddenly end. So it, it's worth keeping on going and keeping on battling. Mm. And obviously, you know, people around the country keep supporting us and keep following our story and sharing lovely messages and, and doing media helps to sort of keep her story mm. in the light. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's a good question. What will work? I don't know. How much harder we'll need to go? I don't know, but, but we'll keep going. Well, look, we admire you Im Everyone immensely. Everyone feels for your situation. Undoubtedly. Uh, thank mm. you very much for coming in, Richard. Thank you.